A few days ago I uploaded an unboxing video of my new Trezor Safe 7 and promised to post a full review and step-by-step -step guides separately. Promises made, promises kept. In today's video I'll review and set up what's probably the most advanced and secure hard wallet out there, the Trezor Safe 7. I'll also show you how to send and receive coins with it. And here's an important detail. I'll be setting up my Trezor Safe 7 using only my mobile device, wirelessly through a secure Bluetooth connection. And before we start, I just want to mention, if you're interested in getting a Trezor Safe 7 or any other Trezor product, use my affiliate link in the description. With my link, you'll get the best price currently available and I'll receive a small commission from each sale. Thanks for your support. Let's start with the review. Obviously, the main reason people buy hardware wallets is security, so let's begin with that. Since I already mentioned the wireless connection, let's address Bluetooth first. Trezor Safe 7 doesn't rely on Bluetooth security. That would be risky. At the launch event in Prague, Thomas Susanka, the CTO of Trezor, introduced something called the Trezor Host Protocol. The Trezor Host Protocol isn't just another encryption layer. It gives you full control over which applications and devices can connect to your Trezor. It shields Trezor Wallet from potential attackers and guarantees secure communication, even in those rare cases when Bluetooth itself might be compromised. Another important thing to mention is the secure element. Trezor co-founded Tropic Square, a separate company that built the first ever auditable and transparent secure element called Tropic 01. This chip is one of two secure elements used in Trezor Safe 7. And that's a big deal. During the presentation, the Trezor team explained that the main reason they developed this chip was because they discovered the vulnerability in one of the most popular secure elements used in many other hard wallets. Obviously, they couldn't reveal the details because they're under an NDA. But you should know that some well-known wallets are still using that vulnerable chip. So, the Trezor Safe 7 uses Tropic 01, the world's first auditable chip with a fully open source cryptography engine, along with another secure NDA-free chip called Optiga, which is also used in the Safe 3 and Safe 5 models. I leave a link to Trezor's Trustless by Design event in the description. Make sure to watch it for more details. So the two major upgrades in the Trezor Safe 7 are the Trezor Host Protocol and the new Tropic 01 chip. Since the device supports wireless connectivity, it also includes a live PO4 battery. The same type of battery used in high-end electronics and electric vehicles. It outlasts regular lithium batteries, offering four times more charge cycles and retaining power for years, even if the wallet stays in storage. Now let's talk about the rest of the specs. Trezor Safe 7 features a 2.5-inch touchscreen, which is 62% larger than the one on the Safe 5. It has a premium anodized aluminum unibody, a reinforced glass back and an IP54 rating, meaning it's dust and splash resistant. The screen itself is made of Gorilla Glass and the device has vibrant haptic feedback, just like the Safe 5. Now let's talk about that quantum ready label. Just to be clear, the Safe 7 is not quantum proof. Quantum ready means the device is capable of receiving future quantum secure firmware updates when those become available. So for instance, if Bitcoin community decides to move forward with something like BIP360 soft fork, Trezor Safe 7 will be one of the first wallets ready to support the new P2TSH address type. Quantum threats are real and there is no solution yet. But the fact that Trezor is already thinking ahead and building for that future that deserves huge respect. Trezor Safe 7 comes in three colors and costs $249, which is a solid price for a device with this kind of engineering. As I've said many times, Trezor is my favorite hard wallet because it's fully open source. I don't trust Trezor, I trust the code. Before we move to the setup, I want to remind you that just in a few weeks I'll be speaking at Bitcoin Mina conference, the biggest Bitcoin event in the Middle East. The event will take place in Abu Dhabi at the Ednex Center on December 8th and 9th. The conference will bring together some of the most prominent voices in the Bitcoin space. And I'd love to meet the Crypto Snake community there in person. Use my discount code Crypto Snake for 10% off all tickets. And I'll see you in Abu Dhabi. Now let's set up the Trezor Safe 7. Turn on your Trezor using the power button on the side. Scan the QR code and download the Trezor Suite app from Google or Apple Store. Open the app and tap Let's Get Started. Next decide whether you want to share performance data anonymously with Trezor. Then hit Confirm. The next step is optional, enabling biometrics. I'll tap Enable. Once that's done, you can either connect your Trezor Safe 7 or use the app as a portfolio tracker. I'll connect my device. 
Next tap connect via Bluetooth. When the app asks for permission, tap allow. Turn on and unlock your Trezor device. Once it appears in the app, tap connect. Make sure the pairing code shown on your Trezor matches the one in the app. If it does, tap pair in the app and confirm on your device. You should now see Trezor is paired on your Safe 7 screen. Now let's go through the setup process. Tap Let's get started. Next step is the security check. You'll need to confirm that your Trezor device was bought from the official Trezor shop, that the holographic seal was complete and undamaged when you unbox the device, and that the package was factory sealed and intact, with no signs of tampering before unboxing. Next step is firmware installation. Hit install now in your app and make sure to keep your Trezor close to your phone. Once the latest firmware is installed, hit continue in the app. Trezor Suite will create a secure connection to your Trezor. Tap continue. On your device screen, you'll need to confirm that you allow Trezor Suite to pair with your Safe 7 wallet. Hit confirm on your device. Next, you'll need to enter a one time six digit security code shown on your Trezor Safe 7 device. Once entered, you should see secure connection created on your mobile device. Tap continue. Next step is the authenticity check. Allow the connected app to check the authenticity of your Trezor Safe 7 by tapping Allow on your device. Once you see your Trezor is genuine, tap Continue. Next, you'll see a short tutorial on your device. Tap Start Tutorial and follow the steps. When that's done, it's time to create your new wallet. Tap Get Started. Now comes the most important part, creating your backup. This protects your coins in case your device is ever lost, damaged or stolen. Before starting, grab a pen and your backup card. Take your time and make sure you're in a private space. When you're ready, hold the green button to begin. In the next step, you'll have to agree to Trezor's terms of use. On your Trezor device, hold to continue. Once your wallet is created, tap continue and go through the on-screen tips. Write down all 20 secret words in the exact order they appear. Use arrows on your device to move through them. Then tap continue. On your device screen, hold to confirm that you wrote all 20 words in the correct order. Trezor will then ask you to verify a few random words from your backup. Once you confirm, you'll see wallet backup complete. Tap continue. The app will remind you to store your recovery phrase safely. Keep it hidden and secure. For even better protection, consider stamping your seed phrase on titanium plates instead of paper. I personally recommend Stamp Seed. It's the leading brand in this niche. Use my discount code CryptoSnake for 15% off all Stamp Seed products. The link's in the description. Next, set up your PIN. Tap continue on your device, create your new PIN and re-enter it. Once you see pin setup complete, tap close. Finally, choose which coins you want to use in your wallet and tap confirm selection. Congrats, your Trezor Safe 7 is now fully set up. Now let me show you how to receive and send coins. To receive crypto, tap receive, select your coin, then tap show full address. Check that the address on your app matches the one on your Trezor. Then tap Confirm. Copy your address and share it with the sender. Once the funds arrive, you'll see your balance update. Now let's send coins. Tap Send button. 
select the asset, paste the recipient's address and enter the amount. Tap Review and Sign. Make sure the address on your device matches the recipient's address. If everything looks right, tap Continue. Double check the amount and transaction fee on your Trezor device, then hold to sign the transaction. Finally, tap Send Transaction in the app. Congrats, you've successfully sent your coins. Trezor Safe 7 is one of the few wallets I personally recommend to my friends and family. It's fully open source, made in Europe and built by the oldest and most trusted hardware wallet company in the world. Again, use my affiliate link in the description for the best price on any Trezor product and check out the Crypto Snake deals page for more discounts on crypto gear and conference tickets. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you later. I'm a keep it a stack. People died at my town, really just wanted me to react. Persevere and say what I lack. Haters see you've got potential, then they've got something against you. Always